All right, today we're doing a rock bed install. Do this pretty commonly, so these are the steps. We do a little bit of digging, not a lot of digging, but anytime we do any digging at all, make sure you contact 811, Miss Utility, get the utility lines marked. First thing to know when you're installing your rock bed is where you wanna put it. So today we're doing a four foot by roughly 32 foot rock bed along this wall for the customer's house, along, along the, the side of the house. So first thing is it's four feet wide. So we want to figure out where we're going to start. We're going to start here on the edge. I've already marked one dot at four feet. To make sure we're staying in line the whole way down, the way I do it is just take a tape measure and pull four feet off and mark a dot. Take two steps, four feet off and mark another dot. Proceed to do that all the way down. Once you've done that all the way, just walk behind yourself, connect the dots. It doesn't have to be 100% a perfect line. We're getting to where we need to be four feet out from, uh, from the house here. All right, second step, once you get your line mark, is to start digging. So we have our line painted here uh, to keep us on track. Unless otherwise noted, all we're doing here is just defining the edge that we're gonna dig inside. I'm gonna take the liberty to cut inside of this line because we actually dug it a little bit too wide and I wanna make this more of a curve versus a, stand, uh, a standard corner. But typically you cut right alongside the line. Now, the objective here, we're not digging for depth. We're just digging to take this top surface soil away. We wanna get rid of all these weeds, all this grass, any current gravel that's in our area and we wanna excavate that out and get rid of it. This is not, we're not digging down like we're digging a patio or a walkway. We're only just scraping this, as I like to call it, two, maybe three inches down to get a nice, smooth area for our fabric. From there, we're going to lay our fabric and our pins in, which we'll show you next. All right, so after you dig out your bed, look at all the lines, make sure it looks straight. So sometimes you paint a line, you think it's straight, you cut it, it ain't. So make sure it's straight, now it's time to fix it. Once you get the bed all dug out like this, uh, go back, find any large rocks, any weeds, uh, any large dirt claws, pull those out as well. Any low spots you see, break them in, tamp it in, make sure we don't have any low spots where the bed's gonna be uneven and take more rock to fill in for more. Uh, once everything is scraped, uh, depending on the border we're using, uh, we have a couple different techniques. If it's a paver border, that's a whole nother conversation. Today we're using an aluminum four inch border with spikes. So when we do that, I like to have a nice edge. Uh, so I just take the, uh, the trench and shovel and run it along the edge. So it's just gonna go down another additional inch and a half or so. So we have a defined edge for that border to sit up against when we tack it in. We tack the edge in, we'll put down our fabric and we'll lay our rock in. So we're using this aluminum edging. Uh, it comes with spikes on the end of it. So uh, what you do, you just take a pair of pliers, bend the spikes back and forth and pop them off. So I'm gonna do that. And then you actually put the spikes in to the slots. You can make your curves however you want it. And then the, the spikes on the end actually clip the pieces together. So start with this, bend it back and forth. Get your spike off. Just like that. So then we're gonna take our edging. And now we have a live edge. Always, there's two sides of this. There's one side that's relatively flat. That's got the slots you can see, but then there's one side that has the same slots, but they hump up. Typically, that's the same side that's got this, the price tag on. We always wanna make sure the side that's humped up is facing in, so it's not gonna be what the customer sees on the outside. The hump, the imperfection side is gonna face in toward the rock or the mulch. It's gonna get covered up, and it's gonna leave us with the smooth edge on the outside to look good. So you take, we already have one installed here. And take our next piece. Gonna 
line it up the best you can. Use your stakes, one through the new piece, one through the old. Once you get both of them in there, tack them down in place. This is better as a two man job, so I'm gonna get Corey off the camera uh, to hold the other side in place. You wanna have somebody holding it up, that way you're not tacking it in while your border edging is at a slant. So once you get this in, you can line the rest up and get the, the rest of the stakes. All right, so the next step is landscape fabric and pins. Uh, the landscape fabric is very simple. Uh, you just simply roll it out over the, the area that you're trying to keep covered, uh, keep bees from growing up in. It's important that your fabric covers every part of the bed. You don't want to have gaps in it. You do your best to get it as close to the edges as you can uh, so you don't have anything growing up in between. So this is a four foot wide section, uh, a four foot wide rock bed, I should say. Or use a four foot wide roll of landscape fabric. So it should fit up pretty well. As we get to the top, there's gonna be a couple areas to cut around around the gas meter. You wanna make sure you keep everything nice and tight around any kind of obstruction, any kind of plants, anything like that. So we don't get weeds growing up next to it. The rule of thumb when we're putting these pins in, uh, anytime you have two pieces of fabric overlapping, we're gonna pin that. So the fabrics are overlap, pin it there, and we pin it uh, down that intersection. On the edges, in every corner gets one pin. And then if you're working in a straight line like this, I like to work in a five pattern. So I've got two pins, one pin, two pins, one pin, two pins, one pin, so on and so forth. So you see we have the two pins there. And now I'm gonna drop another one. So you have one, two, three, and it'll be a four and five. So we'll put one over here on the edge. one on that edge and typically I want a foot space in between them no more than 12 inches uh, any more than that you get a lot of movement in the, in the fabric so five pattern 12 inches any edges overlap get a spike all right so this is the last step uh, back filling our white rock travel now uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna bring in the wheelbarrow loads it's important it's one thing that'll save you some time Leave one side of your border open. So we haven't tacked down the final border at the top. That way we can get our wheelbarrows in easily. Once we fill all the rock in, we'll put that last uh, section of border in. So pretty straightforward. Bring it in. Spread it evenly. We don't want to see any gaps. We don't want to see any fabric in this rock. So we want to make sure we have a nice uh, even layer spread out. We don't want high spots, low spots. Everything's nice and spread out very evenly. And we bring in... Uh, to where we, we keep it just below the outside lip of the border.